Hi everyone, today my speech is going to be on backyard chickens and why I like them so much and why they um, have become so popular. Um, so a lot of people are surprised when I say I have chickens. However, there's a lot of resources today that you can use um, to make it really easy to raise them. Um, so I have five chickens in my backyard, uh, two different breeds. Three of them are Rhode Island Reds, and they're kind of like a bigger chicken, and they're a reddish color, and they lay like a light brown colored egg. Sometimes it's like freckled. And then the other two are called Easter Eggers, and they lay a greenish blue egg, and that's where they get their name from because their eggs look like Easter eggs. Um, so they're about two years old, which means they're just, they're fully grown, they're adult chickens, and they're at the easiest stage to take care of because they're kind of, um, you know, they do everything on their own and I really just have to, like, feed them. Um, so I don't currently live at home, but I do in the summertime, which is when I spend a lot of time with them. Uh, so usually I'll wake up, I'll fill up their food and water and check their eggs, um, each one lays about one egg a day in the warm weather, so we'd get like five eggs total. However, when it gets cold, such as now in the middle of February, we usually only get about like one to two eggs. So it starts to slow down in the winter. Um, my sister has a really wide knowledge on raising plants and animals, so she did the majority of raising them. The three Rhode Island Reds we got from Tractor Supply, which is like a universal farm store and the other two we uh, my sister actually got off of Craigslist and we drove out to Worcester and picked them up from someone's yard um, so right now they're as I said they're very easy to take care of um, uh, so they do live in Newburyport with my family and the law there is that you're allowed to have four hens and no roosters so that basically means that um, your chickens can't reproduce um, and different places have different laws of how many chickens you can have or if you can have roosters or if you need a permit for them so if you are interested in getting um, chickens it's really important you look up your town rules or you can get fined and they'll probably take your chickens away which you wouldn't want to happen um, there's a lot of reasons why I think chickens are really beneficial to have on your own and one of them is that they eat um, almost anything, any type of scrap food. Obviously you can't give them meat or chicken or anything like that, but they do really like fruits and vegetables. Um, oftentimes if you're peeling a vegetable or cutting it up and you don't eat the ends of it, you can give them that. My chicken specifically really like the tops of strawberries, like the green part, so I often like when I'm cutting them, I'll make sure I put them aside and give them that, and they go crazy for it. Um, what's also cool about them is if you're really into having um, a farm setting backyard is that you can have a compost with them, and they'll be able to fertilize it and eat around it. So that's really a cool thing, and that's really awesome for the environment as well. If you have a family and you have younger kids, it's also a really good lesson to teach them of where their food is coming from and how to take care of something. They're not the same as a dog and cat where you where they're like domesticated because they live outside all the time. But they are nice pets to have even if it's just for eggs. Um, another thing I like about them is that um, they start to love you back and something I think about my chickens all the time is when I go back to my backyard they come like running over to me and it is nice company, but it's probably just because they know, they recognize me and know that I'm just probably going to give them food. But they are nice to have. Um, and lastly, there's really nothing better than to have a farm fresh egg. Um, uh, so eggs that you get at the grocery store, you can get grass fed ones. However, or free range is really good too. However, there's eggs that can come from chicken factories that have like hundreds and hundreds of chickens and they aren't necessarily good eggs because chickens can pass diseases to one another and become sick and it's kind of hard to track even 
um, with so many chickens. So when you have them in your own backyard, you have that opportunity to know that your chickens are healthy and you know what you're feeding them. And in turn, you know what you're feeding yourself because you get eggs every day. So it is definitely a really cool experience to have. Um, my dogs get along with them fine. And I really recommend having chickens if you do eat eggs a lot and if or if you're just interested in raising something like that. Um, like I said, they're really easy to take care of and they're a very smart in investment. If you enjoy things like gardening and stuff like that, you'll probably enjoy having chickens too because they are simple to take care of. You can probably get them at an older age rather than a younger age because um, then you don't have to raise them as like little babies kind of need more care just like when you get a puppy versus a dog. They're very similar to that and you get something out of it. So thank you for watching.